While watching an Indian film trailer, I found this exciting title card of Superstar Rajni Sir, which we can try to recreate. For that, we will analyze the first frame and remove all the noise, we can see a simple pattern of stars, on which the superstar text is placed. So we can divide the container into boxes, and then place the dots and text in those boxes. But we can see that the word star is not being aligned in the center, so remove any one corner box and adjust them to center. Now we will do this step by step, inside the parent container add a box element, now we need to set the background pattern for the box, and instead of a star shape we will use a simple shape to reduce complexity. Add a container called dots for the pattern, to create the pattern, we will create a single dot using radial gradient and if we place it as a background image, with a smaller background size, a repetitive pattern gets automatically generated. We have created a single box only, now add 19 more box elements to the title card element. Now style the title card container by setting its display to flex, also wrap the overflowed boxes, adjust the width to 7 times the box size, and finally set justify content to center to align boxes to center. Now we have the background ready, but there are some empty spaces at corners. If we observe the original effect, the background is faded towards the edges, we can use those fade effects to cover these empty spaces. For that we will use pseudo elements, but before make sure that they are relative to the title card element. Now set the before pseudo element at top left corner. Provide a width and height to it, and use a simple gradient to create the fade effect. The gradient is from top to bottom, so make it grow towards right and finally set Z index value to make the element visible. Next replicate this pseudo selector, same for the after selector, but place it at top right corner, and change the direction of the gradient to left, finally reduce the opacity of the dots element, and we have the background ready. Next we need to create this text animation, if you observe carefully there are two different animations, one for dots and other for the text. Now add a letter element inside the box element, add the following letters in the respective boxes. This is how it looks on adding letters. One simple idea for creating the dots animation is to, initially increase the opacity, without changing the background size, then at 50%, increase the background size, which will scatter the dots pattern as shown. Finally reset the opacity and background size. On applying this animation to the dots element, we can see the effect here, but the animation is not happening from the center, so fix it by setting the background position to center. The animation should not happen to all the dots, this should happen to only those dots which have a letter element below it, so add a new class called animate to those dots elements and apply the animation to it. We can see that the animation is happening at the same time in all the boxes, so add a delay as a variable to the box element, then set the delay for each box as shown. And finally set the delay to the dots element. Also set the animation fill mode property to backwards. Animation fill mode backwards will apply the styling of the first keyframe of the animation to the elements during the delay period. We can see the opacity is being preset before animation starts. Coming to this text, we have already added the letter element. Now set its font properties as shown. I didn't find the exact font style, so I am using a similar font style. Then overlay the text by setting its position to absolute, and finally align it to center. Now we have the text ready, but the fade effects are covering the letters, so adjust the Z index of the letter elements and bring them to top. Now we need to animate these letters, for that we can use a simple scale animation, and here the translation is being used to maintain the letter at the center. Now coming to the animation, we can see that it's not syncing properly with the dots animation, so we will make the letter to wait before it scales up, and then apply the animation. Now there is a sync between the letters and the dots animations. Next we need to focus on the name, for that add a text element with the name in it. Now apply basic styling for it, by setting the font properties. But if you observe the text here, it is having the gradient color. One simple way to create gradient text is by using background clip property. For that, 
First set the required gradient color as the background, then remove the text color, and set background clip property, which will give us the gradient text. Next we need to add the depth effect, we can do that using text shadow, but as we have removed the text color, text shadow will overlap on the gradient text, so we need create another similar element called shadow, but remove the gradient and background clip properties, then apply text shadow to it, and position it behind the name. Now wrap this text and shadow elements with a name element, and use this in the title card. Next adjust its position to center, and set its Z index. Now we need to animate this name element, for that, there are two different animations, one is this fall in animation and other is this resize animation. For this fall in animation, initially reduce the width of the name element, then translate in Z axis and rotate along Y axis. Finally maintain the reduced width and make the translation and rotation to zero. This animation has to be applied after the letters animation, so make sure to add the delay for it. We can see that the animation is not happening as expected. To fix it we need to add two properties. First one is perspective. Perspective defines the distance from which you are watching the screen, which gives the 3D effect. So set this property for the body element. Next is to set the transform style to preserve 3D, which will set the elements in 3D space, so add this to the title card container. Now the animation is working as expected. Next we need to add the resize animation, for that simply change the max width property, and this animation has to appear after the fall in animation so make sure to add the delay. Now the effect is ready, but the impact is missing. If you observe the original video, we can see a small shrink happening, and also a background shake happening when the name enters. For this we can use the simple scaling animation, and the shaking animation. As the scaling and shaking animations appear along with fall in animation, set the same delay, and specifically set the animation fill mode for scaling animation, as the scale value has to be set initially. We can add another shaking animation at the end of the effect. With that we have our title card ready. The effect is not perfectly accurate, so do comment down your suggestions on improving the effect, and also comment your rating out of 5 stars. If you find this tutorial valuable then subscribe to the channel.